the threats to the East, I think, are leading to a revival of collective defense as the number one mission of the Alliance. The threats from the South are more complicated, they're more varied. We're dealing with uh, terrorist groups, non-state actors, but also partner countries that are struggling to maintain their own security. So in the South, we need a much more comprehensive toolbox. The dangerous world uh, reminds people why NATO is still important. Just a few years ago, people were saying that we've maybe uh, reached the point where we should take a dignified retirement uh, when we hit our 65th birthday. But nobody's saying that now. And I think what, it, what I find encouraging is that in all of our member states, even as they struggle with economic challenges, they recognize that defense still does matter, that it's important now to contribute to the alliance, to deliver capabilities, but also to deliver uh, political support so that we can together uh, deal with these uh, enormous challenges. So NATO has been uh, a success story in many different decades, dealing with different threats in the post-Cold War period. Now we have uh, perhaps the most challenging security environment that I can remember, uh, but I think NATO is up to the task.